In this video, I will be only showing how to set up and use a KM box net. As you can see, I have my cover removed. You do not have to. You will have to break off one of the tabs on the front to get access to the button to put it in flashing mode. But setting up KM box net is very simple. You will first want to obviously connect the bottom left to your main PC in the top left to your second PC. And like everything with DMA, everything is always done on the second PC. So on the second PC, we will go to Control Panel and Network Settings. From there, we will set the IP address of the KM box. By finding the one that's called USB 2.0, right click and go to Properties, then go to IPv4 and go to Properties again. You will need to set the IP address to end in something different than what is displayed on the KM box. Then you can simply press OK. It will pop up an error. Just press OK again, as it will autofill the rest of the info for you. After that, we will disable and enable the KM box. And we can test to see if the KM box is working by pinging it. If it has replies, it is working. If it is not replying, change the IP again. And make sure that you're pinging the correct IP address, the one that is on the KM box. For all software, you will be using the information provided on the screen of the KM box. To flash the KM box, you will simply hold down the flashing button while plugging in the bottom left port. As that is the flashing port, you can do it on your main PC, but it is recommended to do it on your second to pass PC checks. The screen should be white, and you can install the driver for flashing. If you get an error, it is probably because these two files have a weird name and you need to remove those weird letters. Same if the folder name has weird letters. Then you can go and open up the flashing tool and simply select the file and flash. If you get an error, it's probably because no driver was installed or it's not in flashing mode. Or more common that the firmware file has Chinese letters that need to be removed. It is recommended to keep your KM box net updated to the latest firmware as it gets detected often. There is another tool that you can use to spoof and do more with the KM box net, but I find that tool to be very hard to use, and I have not found any evidence of spoofing to make the KM box not detected. People that spoofed and did not spoof got banned the same. Also, it did not matter if you were plugging your mouse into the KM box or plug in your mouse directly into your computer.